How's it going, guys? This is Forensic Forks with Deontay, and I'm back with another video. This is episode 25 to the Agent Session Library. Once again, currently right now tonight on Monday, the 15th, January 2024, we have a successful Asian Session model. We've already achieved the minimal ideal of 10 pips, as you can see here. So that checks out for the spreadsheet. So if we were to go down and track this, this is how we would write it out. But a Thursday, come down to Monday. Today's what, the 15th. So we go 1, 15, 24. We find the entry. Our entry point is going to be 145, 948. And our stop loss is 146, 97. So that's exactly how I do it. I would come here, copy this, paste it down here. And so far the model gave us 10 pips. Pushing 15, all in all, just a small recap. So let's rewind it to how we got to where we are right now in price. So how did we get here? So let's bring it back. So we come back down here to just before Asian session opens. We'll get rid of that. Go down to the one minute time frame. Sorry, 15. And as you can see, we got the New York lunch session, which we have our late 15 minute swing high here, and our late 15 minute swing low here. Is actually this one's a little swing low there. Get that acclimated to the right point. So we got our buy side and sell side as we go into the session. So price goes forward. Instantly, we can see price comes up and takes out that 15 minute swing high. So buy side liquidity has been purged at this point. This model is simply looking to be counterparty to breakout con artists. Those that are looking to go long, we want to be short. Go back down to the one minute time frame. What do we have? That entry technique. That same entry technique. Not that fair value gap here. Because I know people ask you questions. Why did you did not? Why didn't you take this one? I don't take this one because it's not something unique that I don't like to take. I want to take this one here because it breaks the swing low. As always, what do we do? We go short into that here. We do that simple one to one scenario. So we do a fifteen pip stop. That's close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. And a 15 pip TP. So we're looking for a one to one scenario. Price does what? Taps in. You're short now. And you could be risking 1%, half a percent, 2%, even 3% if you're very aggressive. And this is where we are currently in price right now. But notice where it made this sell opportunity here. Where did it form? above the Asian session open here. That's the Asian session open right there at 8 p.m. And that's why we'll look for that sell opportunity here. So I'm gonna just let it play out to see if we get that 15 pip TP hit. Just leave an alert somewhere along the lines of here. And we'll see if we can get that to ring out. So we'll just let it play till the end of the session and see what's up. If not, if price comes back to hit stop loss, you should have already took in partials and bank 10. You don't get greedy because there are times where we saw how the market does come down, gets close to that TP and then turns around and then runs back to stop. So you got to pay the trader sometimes. Your hard work needs to be paid off for. And at times, it's not always going to be perfect. Sometimes you got to cut your profits early because something about the market, something about your intuition, you have this gut feeling, something has told you, experience has told you. Hey, I think the trade is taking a little longer than normal. Let me just get out of it, right? Or you see that, okay, structure is being broken back to the upside. Swing highs are being broken. Higher swing highs, higher swing lows are forming. I don't like that. And then we get out that trade. But all in all, hopefully this was another great example for you guys to see how being consistent to one trading model is episode 25. Imagine this.
this this series is going to go on for a very long time. But imagine how many examples I've already put out publicly to the channel. Plenty. And they all look similar. This one forms really early too as well. This one, the entry technique forms at 8.14. Right? 8.14. Entry happens at 8.15, literally the next minute. And there you go. And you have another chance. Let's say you missed that opportunity. You can see price comes back into that zone. Another opportunity to go short. All right, if you weren't disciplined or you were late to the session, you happen to open up your chart and you see this, you happen to get lucky again to get that re-entry. So let's just see how it plays out. Peace. So price ultimately turned around and stopped us out. But we get that minimum target of 10 pips. We got really close to 15. So this is another great example of where paying the trader really is crucial. If you don't pay yourself for that hard work, you know, all that can be taken away from you. You'd rather be up than down. Most traders would say that. And I would personally recommend that for all traders. You'd rather be up than down or at least at break even. So here at this point, I wouldn't chase it. I wouldn't chase price. I'll let price do. Even if price were to continue trending higher for the next, you know, 40, 50, 60, 20 pips, whatever it is to the upside, I wouldn't want to chase that. It's done. But we can see how price comes down below the Asian session open. And immediately you can get that buying at a discount. Not that we were able to predict that it was going to buy there, but just looking at the formation of the way the market likes to trade, it's most likely going to buy at the best price possible, which is normally below Asian session open. Hopefully this was insightful. Peace.